Well, it's worse than snow or rain. Rain and snow combined. That's what we're seeing outside right now. This is right outside our studios here in Midtown Anchorage. And it's coming down pretty hard. The shower moving through, temperatures dropping. Uh, we get a lot of moisture like this coming down this hard. It actually cools the air. It's called evaporative cooling uh, as it falls. And that's what we're seeing right now here in Anchorage. Those temperatures dropping pretty significantly from where we were uh, just about 30 minutes ago. We're out of the 40s and now down into the mid 30s. And those temperatures will continue to drop uh, here over the next several hours. Winds also picking up out of the southwest at about 14 miles per hour. So glad I'm inside and not outside in that right now. Seven tenths of an inch is what we got uh, overnight last night. Uh, that brings us up to 133.8 three inches of snow uh, for the season combined. That means we're still in that second place spot, but we only need 1.3 inches of additional snow to break the all time seasonal snowfall record. Technically that season goes all the way through June 30th, but uh, we've never seen any accumulating snow in the month of June. In fact, the latest we've seen measurable snow here in Anchorage is May 22nd. Now the most snow we've seen in May, there's been a lot over six inches in 2001, uh, but the the latest that we've seen this much snow, seven tenths or more, is actually just May 11th, just a couple days from now. So this is uh, historic, what we're seeing right now. The latest snow depth of one inch uh, is today, May 9th, 2024. Uh, we've never had that much snow stick around long enough for it to be measured uh, at the snow depth. Now, today since midnight. Uh, it's been mostly rain, 607 inch here in Anchorage, a bit more in Seward, Portage, uh, down into Cordova, but most of the moisture is down into Southeast, over an inch. Uh, it's come down hard tonight in Juneau, 1.6 inches now in Yakutat and nearly 1.2 inches in Sitka. And we're going to continue to see heavy rain there tonight, uh, but fortunately improving conditions for both Southeast and for South Central tomorrow. Out West, we're still watching those river conditions again both uh, the Yukon and the Kuskokwim rivers have ice jams and we are seeing some flooding. It's a flood watch on the Yukon, but uh, we do have flood warnings in effect here for the Kuskokwim right near Bethel. This is what it looks like in town. George Smith is sharing this photo. Uh, you can see water pushing in here in and around buildings. Uh, and then just downriver in the Pasquiac, uh, Cecilia sharing this picture with us. You can see high water again also along the Kuskokwim. So flood warnings in place. If you're in those communities, you can watch those water levels very closely. Uh, it can get dangerous when these ice jams form and we'll continue to keep you updated. Now we still have this big deep trough here across the state that's pulling in that cold air and it's keeping it here, uh, but it's also helping to support those storms and bring that moisture here into the southern portion of the state. We are going to see more moisture moving into south central, but not Anchorage. Anchorage, we'll see these showers here tonight, uh, but then we'll see dry conditions starting to tomorrow, but we will, however, continue to see some pretty heavy rain in Seward, Whittier and across Prince William Sound Friday into Saturday. Be prepared for that along the coast in Southeast again, still seeing that heavier rain tonight. But tomorrow you'll start to see some sun breaks and improving conditions. High temperatures back into the low 50s. Across the Kenai Peninsula, still on the cool side, still seeing wet conditions in Seward and Kodiak, which had a record low temperature this morning. We'll see that scattered rain snow mix across Prince William Sound back into the upper 40s for the Copper River Basin. For the valley, temperatures drop below freezing tonight. So be ready for that with continued snow showers tonight. Uh, tomorrow, high temperatures a little warmer in the upper 40s. Still seeing those breezy winds, though, in Palmer. We'll see breezy winds here in Anchorage as well. Again, snow showers tonight, drier conditions tomorrow, uh, but we will likely see that wintry mix near Girdwood continuing through your Friday. Chance we get a shower pop up on Saturday. I'm not expecting much. Temperatures do continue to warm back to the 50s. In fact, we're back to the mid 50s by the middle part of next week, and the sunshine it comes back too. So regardless, Rebecca, of what's happening outside, We'll, we'll get back to that uh, nice spring weather soon. Absolutely. Thank you, Melissa.